So my girlfriend and I watch a lot of movies, and we watch a lot of horror movies. So um, we've watched... She likes, in this order, Haunted House horror movies, then um, after Haunted House, it would be definitely like found footage, basically anything found footage. Um, you know, she, Conjuring is not more her like number one style. So Conjuring is number one style. Um, then after that, like Blair Witch, uh, Fear, uh, no, Hell House LLC, that's one of her favorites. And then it could maybe get into like Slasher, Scream, Michael Myers, Halloween, um, Friday the 13th, all that. Uh, so we've watched, I mean, Netflix, I've scrubbed anything. I've searched very thoroughly. Um, you know, if I see a movie that's on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, Tubi, Crackle TV, Pluto TV, um, Fandango's got an app, uh, IMBD TV, uh, Apex, Amazon Plus, Paramount Plus. I just, you know, get all these different streaming services because I know that there's going to eventually be other different movies in there, especially the type of movies that we like, which is, you know, when it comes to these streaming services, it's nothing for them to have a bunch of these terrible horror movies on there that's not a big that's not a movie that they're gonna put on the poster and say this is the movies that we got this month or whatever you know so they do keep a pretty good selection of these newer new horror movies or old horror movies a lot of them are made after 2010 um and my girlfriend doesn't really like 80s that much she she is starting more to appreciate Halloween after watching the new ones wanting to go back and rewatch the Halloween series but she's not really even back into going back into watching like 80s horror or like slasher stuff she's not really into Friday the 13th actually either um she likes uh child's play she does like child's play so so we just kind of go for it and watch all these different movies. And it's, it. a lot of the movies that we watch are terrible. And sometimes if it's super terrible, I'll just kind of go through and kind of fast forward a, you know, a couple of minutes at least to get through. I see a kind of a BS scene coming up where it's clearly there's nothing happening except like story building or whatever between character building between these two characters. I don't even really care, you know, if they have a good relationship as a parent or whatever because it's so... It's such a terrible movie, and the acting is so terrible. It doesn't give you anything to watch that, so I just flip through it. If it was a good movie, you know, I, I wouldn't skip through that part, but if it's something like that, I'm just kind of trying to see what the what the scary parts of it is. And then if it kind of turns out, maybe I, I might stop fast-forwarding if it kind of gets good because some movies get, you know, hard to start or in the middle it's weird or whatever so it's different things but mostly we're watching the entire thing mostly we're watching the entire movie